Welcome to update 2.3 of the Stream Deck MIDI plugin. This update has two new features. The first one is for the pot buttons, both for the control change action and for the Mackie control action. In previous versions you needed two buttons to control values up and down, and in this version you can control both ways from one button. If you look at the configuration, you can now say that the button goes both ways. And when you say that, you need to set the time limit. If you double press the button within that time, 0.7 seconds as default, the button will change direction. And in order to know which way the button will go, you can add direction indicators either on the knob, and it will rotate with the knob, or as a fixed indicator on the background. So you can have one or both or none. So if I add on the knob, and if I use the button, it goes one way, and if I double press, I switch direction and go the other way. And for the Mackie control action, it's the, exactly the same thing. I say both ways. I say I want on the background, for instance. And if I use the button, it goes one way. And if I double press, it goes the other way. And now to the second new feature. When you play in your door, in the mixer you have VU meters with volume levels for each track. Wouldn't it be cool if you could see that information on Stream Deck as well? Guess what? Now you can. The only thing you need to do to see VU meters is to mark the checkbox, display VU meter on button. If you have your own design, please check the website for how to add the VU meters to your fader. As you can see, a lot is going on, and we are actually close to the limit of what Stream Deck can take. So, some words of caution. There is a limit to how fast I can send image updates and I reduce the number of updates not to overload Stream Deck. I don't know if the same limit applies to all computers, so if you get problems, please report it to me. What will happen if Stream Deck gets overloaded is that image updates will be queued, and if we continue to overload Stream Deck, the queue will grow. And in time, you will get a growing gap between what is displayed in the mixer and what is displayed on Stream Deck. And please do not define more than these 16 fader buttons with view information. You will certainly overload Stream Deck if you do. Some more facts about this. The volume information sent is only 12 steps. So you will not have the same fine-grained information on the Stream Deck as you have in the mixer. There are also differences in how DAWs send this information. Some DAWs can send master channel volume, uh, while others don't. Most DAWs send the value zero when there is no volume, Studio One, for some reason, send value 1 when there is no volume. So if you use Studio One, you will always have the bottom segment lit in Stream Deck. And there are probably more differences between those than what I have seen. That's all for this update. Thanks for watching.